scientists are obsessed with extremes. We've explored the furthest reaches of space and the deepest trenches of our oceans. But one extreme has always fascinated us. The extremely cold. Imagine a world where everything is frozen, where atoms themselves slow to a near standstill. This is the realm of ultra-low temperatures, a place where the very laws of physics seem to bend. For centuries, scientists have chased after this elusive goal, reaching absolute zero, the point where all motion stops. This theoretical temperature, a bone-chilling minus 273.15 degrees Celsius or zero Kelvin, represents the complete absence of heat. While reaching absolute zero might be impossible, our journey towards it has unveiled incredible scientific breakthroughs. One such breakthrough is laser cooling, a technique that uses lasers, those beams of concentrated light, to cool atoms to a fraction of a degree above absolute zero. This discovery revolutionized atomic physics, opening up new avenues of research and leading to the development of groundbreaking technologies. Before we dive into the intricacies of laser cooling, let's revisit what temperature actually means. In essence, temperature is a measure of how much atoms are jiggling and bouncing around. The hotter something is, the faster its atoms move. Conversely, as something cools down, its atoms slow down, their frenetic dance becoming more of a gentle sway. Imagine a room full of hyperactive puppies. That's a good analogy for high temperature. Their energy and constant movement represent heat. Now, imagine calming those puppies down until they're almost still. That's what we're aiming for with laser cooling, slowing down atoms to a virtual standstill. However, unlike puppies, atoms are incredibly tiny and move incredibly fast. Even at room temperature, atoms in a gas zip around at hundreds of meters per second. To cool them down to near absolute zero, we need a tool that's both precise and powerful. That tool, surprisingly, is light itself. Light might seem like an odd choice for cooling. After all, we associate light with warmth and energy. But light, specifically laser light, can be harnessed to slow down and cool atoms. This remarkable technique, known as laser cooling, was first proposed in the 1970s and experimentally demonstrated in the 1980s, earning its pioneers the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1997. Laser cooling relies on a fundamental principle of physics, the interaction between light and matter. Light carries momentum, and when a photon, a tiny packet of light, hits an atom, it can transfer some of that momentum to the atom, giving it a tiny push. This interaction is usually negligible, but with lasers we can control and amplify these tiny pushes to achieve extraordinary results. The key lies in the unique properties of lasers. Unlike regular light, which is a jumble of different wavelengths all mixed up, laser light is monochromatic, meaning it's made up of photons with the same wavelength and energy. This gives us precise control over the light and allows us to target atoms with incredible accuracy. Imagine you're trying to stop a speeding car by throwing tennis balls at it. If you throw the tennis balls head-on, each impact will slow the car down a little. This is similar to how laser cooling works. By carefully tuning the frequency of the laser light, scientists can target atoms moving towards the laser beam. When an atom absorbs a photon from the laser, it slows down, like the car being hit by a tennis ball. The atom then re-emits the photon in a random direction. While this emission gives the atom a little kick in a random direction, the net effect over many absorptions and emissions is a reduction in the atom's speed. However, simply shining one laser beam at a cloud of atoms wouldn't be enough. Atoms would only be slowed down in one direction and continue moving rapidly in other directions. To create a truly cold atomic sample, we need to trap the atoms, confining them to a small region of space. If you enjoyed learning about laser cooling, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. We explore fascinating topics like this every week.